there, it's Ina here and today I am coming on with a little chat. I also want to show you some of the new items I just listed in my Etsy store which also include some projects I made off camera so there will be some new things for you to look at. Now before I get started with that I also want to um, tell you a little bit about my plan for 2020 and my channel. I really want to use this year to create more, to find more uh, time for projects and to spend a little less time on editing. So the plan right now is to put out one video a week every Friday. Now during that video I will like always show you the process of one of my projects but I also want to include one or two other projects which are made off camera. So it will be a combination of process and tutorial and some show and tell. I hope that will work out both for me and for you. Now if we don't like it well we can always change it right? Nothing is set in stone. Anyway that's the plan. Uh, another plan I had but I don't think will work out yet is setting my Etsy store on international sales. There are real issues. First of all the shipping cost to anywhere outside the States is ridiculously high and secondly there are also custom issues with certain countries. So until I do some more research my store is going to stay on domestic only which means only the ones of you who live in the state can buy from there. Now if you are watching this video and you happen to live somewhere else in the world please don't go away. I hope that you will still find some inspiration in all the items I will show here and as I mentioned earlier there are also some new things here which uh, you did not see me make on video previously. So I'll get started so this thing doesn't get too long. I start with my journals. And now some of the items you will see here today I have created very recently in uh, this year in uh, some of my videos and therefore you can find details to these projects just by checking on my channel and browsing through my recent videos. So I won't get into too much details on all those items which I have shown you before. That includes these four journals. Now these are infinite journals. I made a few of these and they have been one of my big sellers. Um, they are made from altered book covers and I decorate them in many different ways. This one has a vintage photo. I call it my shoeshine boys. Lots of texture. It has a fabric inside. A ribbon closure and all these infinite journals have the elastic binding and the signatures which can be removed and replaced. Now I often use this ledger paper because it's so readily available in secondhand stores as offices and businesses really don't use them anymore since computers came around and I love to work on them. They're great for writing, note keeping, list making and so on. But of course you can take these signatures out completely and replace them with your own paper. Whatever you might like to keep in these journals. So the shoeshine boy is here. This one has also paper background with houses, doily, a little metal embellishment. Again a fabric inside, my signatures, a doily on the back as well. Then these two were covered with uh, canvas. I cut from a uh, painting and I did these paintings some time back in acrylics. So they make great book covers. This one is like an abstract flower design. It has a paper inside with a little pocket right here. There's that one. And this one I think it was a painting I did as part of a hop all about colors. So it's a very abstract design but very colorful. Again a paper inside and a pocket in the front and a pocket in the back. My signatures as you can see sometimes I add plain paper as well. So there's this one. 
But then I also made two new journals off camera and I want to show these to you in a little more detail. Now some time back I made a journal and I used a napkin image of three ostriches and they were just really cool and quirky. I listed it and it sold immediately. Now in the meantime I found a couple more of these images and I really like them. Now I'm not usually an artist that uses a lot of cute images but I think these are more than cute. I think they're more humorous and quirky and I just couldn't resist. I did um, embellish them a little bit like the flowers down here and the decoration on the llamas with some watercolors. I also enhanced their eyes and then I sealed both of these with triple thick gloss and that's a nice glaze which protects them. Actually all my journals have a thin varnish all over them so the covers are protected. So first to the donkeys here I added a wooden black frame and then I made use of the nice texture the original uh, book cover had. I painted it, I distressed it with copper and stenciled the black dots it has a ribbon closure, a nice marbled fabric on the inside. So there is the donkey one. And then here the three llamas. Isn't that a great image? So for this one I used a brown paper bag. I crumbled it up before I glued it down. I distressed it. I added some stenciling. And then here for the image I gave it a faded black archival ink border. So here are the llamas. This one has a crinkled up coffee dyed seam binding. It's a bit long but I figure better too long than too short. And here on the inside is an off color tartan design which I quite like. And again of course my signatures. So there are six new infinite journals and these are all listed in their own section. And now to some of my assemblages. Again, this violin and this uh, guitar were covered in some of my recent videos and so was this little gramophone over here. Now this is made out of metal, it's very sturdy, it has a couple of dangles here, a key and a little jewel. It has a tea strainers, beads, um, broken jewelry, it has a nice a teal silver copper finish. So this one will be available in my store. So will be my violin which is really one of my favorite pieces I did recently. I love the finish on it. I love the color. I love all the details and even the background I think it all blends nicely together. It has burnt uh, sheet music. There's a bow which is a little bit decorated as well. It has a hanger so this one will be available. And so will be the guitar which is decorated a little more simple as it's a smaller piece. It's mounted on a piece of fence wood. It has a naturally distressed edge, some metal corners, a hanger. So these will all be in my assemblage section. And there you will also find this assemblage book. Now this is something I made on video but a long time ago. Some of you might remember it. I think the idea is a bit unusual to put assemblages in a book so I created this very sturdy book with just uh, two inside pages <clears throat> and I added a small assemblage on each page starting with the cover. This one has a bit of leather right here and so does the closure. It's just two clips, leather and some beads. I started actually by covering everything in this vintage looking uh, normal uh, tissue paper. So every page has a vintage image. They're all taken from an old book and some decoration pieces and every page has a different color combo. So there's this one on the front, this one over here. Now some of the images are from famous people and some are not. Sorry I need to go a little down so you can see it. Did you see it? So there's this one and there's this one, this one and some have a little movable part. There are some beads in there. Now the book stands up very sturdy. It can be open to any page you like <clears throat> and it's been in my art room for a while and always been 
an attention getter and conversation starter. So it's time for it to move on and grow up and leave the nest and it will be added to my assemblage section in my store. Now I made also this little artist palette and this was done completely off camera. I had this palette laying around and the paint brushes and of course putting it together in this type of fashion is not my idea. It has been done many times before but I thought I'd give it a try. I added first some fiber all across here. I added a lot of broken jewelry pieces, tiny pieces here and there. Then I had two metal flowers and I added micro beads too. So it has a lot of texture. It has some uh, texture paste stenciling all over the place as well. And then I added this wooden die cut of a label down here. I painted it black. I also added black to the center of the flowers, a couple of round uh, pieces, two little black stars and just a little ribbon on each of the paint brushes. It is colored in different shades of teal and has a light copper uh, finish. Of course there is black here on the thumb hole because the back is black and has a little hanger. So this uh, artist palette which was decorated in mixed media assemblage style is available to you in my store as well. Alright let's put this over here. And then I have one more assemblage and again this one was covered in a video quite some time ago. It's always been one of my favorite and it was one of my earlier uh, um, assemblage, assemblage projects. I like the way this is set up. I like those top three compartments, two mirrors and a thermometer. So I call this one mirrors and it has a see-through box here in the middle. It's decorated. It holds some very colorful sequins and it turns off center. And the rest of the elements are mostly toys, game pieces, handyman bits and bobs. There's a handle, there is a radio speaker and so on. The finish is something between teal and silver. It also has some unpainted little uh, teal beads here and there. The sides are nicely textured. The back is nice and clean with a paper finish. So this uh, box assemblage will be available for sale as well. All right, and those were my main projects I listed. But I have two uh, books I will also list under Ina's D stash because they've been laying around and I don't think I will really use them to their full potential. So these will be out for all of you who are looking for supplies. So this is a book called Hollywood and the Great Fan Magazines. Um, these fan magazines are actually sold separately here on Etsy and many other places. And this book has four, no, five editions in it. So you get five mags all at the same time. Let me just give you a little glimpse. It's of course all about Hollywood, like it said. Lots of really nice uh, old images, photos. Uh, and of course this book can be used in so many different ways. So if you are interested in this, it is available to you. All right, so lots of famous people. I think it's all the 20s to the 40s or 50s, something like that. So here we go. And then I have this one. Let's see, the title is Matthew Brady, Historian with a Camera. It's a rather big book. Now it's in good condition. It has a little bit of a corner here, but uh, this too, the actual book is in very good condition and the cover, you know, it has a few little, but really nothing major. Well, a little bit here. There you go. So the book itself is in mint condition. So is this one. No pages have been taken out. And this too, of course, it has some text, but it has a lot of um, historic pictures, vintage images, for any of you who like to work with these kind of things, either um, you know for collaging or mixed media work, or maybe you just like the whole book. It is very interesting. As you see, lots and lots of pictures. There's of course also some text, but even in the text you have some cool uh, blueprints and so on. So these two books will be listed under Ina's D-Stash. And I think that's all I had to you 
for you today. Um, thank you so much for coming. I hope you enjoyed uh, this little time with me and uh, maybe you saw something which uh, inspires you to create something of your own. I hope I get to see you really soon again latest by next Friday. Have a great weekend and bye bye for now. <music>